Now, one thing that's very helpful to have in a lot of different forms is a calendar or date picker. So here we have an example where we're looking at a starting date and we want to provide a calendar for the user to use. That way, it's not dependent upon them typing in a date and typing the date correctly. In our text editor, I've already created an input with an ID of start date. And you'll notice it's a type text. We're not using any special types that require HTML5. And choose start date as our selector based upon the ID of our input tag. And choose date picker. Switch back to our browser. Reload. Everything looks the same. But when I click inside the text box, jQuery UI picks up on that click and displays a current calendar and it includes highlighting the current date. If I just hit the enter key, you notice it automatically fills it in. If I click back on it, I can click on a different date and it works just as I'd expect. However, Date Picker has a lot of options you can use to change the default functionality. For example, I'm going to pass in a JavaScript object, say show anim, this is short for show animation, and I'm going to choose slide down. Now when I refresh and click on my start date, you notice that the calendar slides down, so instead of just popping in and out, it creates a nice animation. You can also do drop, slide, fold, and more. For example, we can do number of months. Now by default, it's set to one. But if we set it to three, reload in our browser, now we see three months, our current month, or our next two months available to us. So it provides us a lot of flexibility. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.